All right, welcome back. And here we are to wrap up this uh, tutorial on the uh, Twilight um, movie poster slash desktop background. Um, here we go. Um, next thing that I want to show you is actually how to get his eyes to glow. Now, um, you're going to want to use um, a, a technique that I particularly like. It's very similar to what you do in photography. And um, the way you do that is we'll select the uppermost layer and um, I'm going to get rid of this for right now because I thought I was going to use it, but I don't think I am for right now. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to create a new layer, and we're going to come over here, and we want to go to the um, the percentage where it says HSB, and we're going to type in 50 right there, and then we're going to zero out these other ones, okay? You'll see that this turns into solid gray, and then we'll go ahead and hit OK. So then we're going to fill that. We're going to hit Alt Delete, and that's going to fill that with a nice middle gray. And I'm going to come over here to Overlay. Okay. Now you'll see that with that overlay, it doesn't do anything. Well, it's actually a hidden layer that has a, a really neat functionality. So um, what we're going to do is come over to this navigation bar, over to your toolbox, and under your toolbar here, we have a couple different tools and we want to find the one that says that says um, your dodge tool okay so dodge tool so what's that gonna do it's gonna actually lighten anything that's underneath it and I have this set to 91 and then I also have this uh, right here set to um, uh, to the airbrush I'm gonna actually turn that airbrush off and it says go for the midtones I'm gonna go for the shadows because right now I obviously have some really dark areas in here so I'm gonna paint this first okay and it's very hard to tell um, here, but if I zoom in, not that close, <laughs> um, you can actually see that it, it, that it is actually starting to lighten up his eyes um, a little bit um, under there. So I'm going to continue doing that. You can optionally um, use your, um, your white paintbrush too on that, but um, that doesn't always work as well. So I'm going to continue using my dodge tool here. I'm just going to go over his um, eyes as much as I can. And also I'm going to go for the midtones. And I'm going to lighten those up just a little bit. And if you want to try highlights, you can try that too. And those little orange specks will show up just a little bit more as well. Um, and let's see, I'm going to change this really quick too just to see if we can see any other effects sort of happen on here. Okay, so on soft light you can see that actually you can see um, by changing this blending mode um, here, you can see the effects of what I've done with that lighten, eff with that lighten effect. Well, obviously I don't want to make him look like a complete demon in that image, so I'm going to scroll through here just really quickly to see exactly um, which one looks the best. And I'm going to leave it on soft light because it gives me enough of the color out of his eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and create one more layer and we're going to pick a yellow, uh, kind of like a orangey yellow color similar to the one that was in that movie poster. Sort of like a nice bright orange yellow color. Maybe a little slight more yellow just like that. And uh, this is uh, 418296, if you want to type that into your color finder there. And we'll zoom in just a little bit. And in this new layer, I want to bring, use my brackets to make this a little bit smaller like that. And obviously, that's going to look really fake. So once again, you can use your uh, different blending modes to kind of scroll through and find the one that might look the best. Okay. So you can use something like, for instance, um, the color dodge one looked pretty good. Let's go ahead and use um, let's go ahead and use linear or uh, sorry lighter color. Um, that one seems to work pretty well. So once again, I'm going to sort of bring my brush size down just a little bit, and I'm going to paint that right into his eyes, and then I'm going to also just kind of mute that down just a little bit, use that lighter color you see there. I'm just going to sort of um, bring that down. Now if you put this above that layer, it's going to lighten it even further, so you may not want to do that. And um, once you've done that, you can also adjust that the, the eye color once you've placed it in under the um, uh, 
under hue and saturation as well you can come in here and do colorize and then do a saturation really high and change this color around and then that way you can kind of play around with the color of the eyes just to see really what you what's you know going to work best for your particular image so I think I'm going to go for sort of that yellowish color that I talked about and do that and then go ahead and zoom out you can see his eyes sort of look like they're glowing now and I can zoom out and if that's a little bit too much um, you can always sort of bring that down just a little bit if you think it looks a little bit too fake um, alright so that's pretty much it for the uh, the characters um, one last little thing that I would recommend doing if you want to really give it that extra sort of painted look is on the character layer um, let's go ahead and just merge these down really quick we'll just do merge layers and um, that way I can use another layer mask and I'm going to paint out um, this background just a little bit more again I'll hide that out of the way for a moment get rid of that because I don't really think that really adds to the photograph alright so we have our characters everything's good with them and um, last little final touch that I was talking about here is if you would if you like to do this it's totally up to you um, I like to take the uh, smudge tool here go under where the blur and sharpen is and go to smudge and make your brush kind of small and keep this relatively low but then just go in here and make some quick little um, adjustments on the um, layer make sure you're not on the mask like I just was um, and then you can kind of smooth all this out and it'll smooth out the pixelization that may have occurred from you know getting an internet res image um, it's gonna really smooth out all those pixels and give you this sort of painted look so that will really smooth everything out and just remember use a really low um, low um, amount on the smudge tool because otherwise it will start pushing the actual pixels around and you'll really mess things up um, so again we're just smoothing this out really quick and we got about three minutes left in this video so um, I'm just gonna try to knock out the rest of this take your text tool just to finish this off and go ahead and type in uh, Twilight um, and I particularly like there's a there's a website I'll just pull that up here for you really quick uh, let me shrink this down so you can actually see it Uh, let me get this down for you. This is a website called um, dafont.com, and basically, if you go to um, the uh, Gothic Celtic um, section, uh, you can find some really cool fonts that you can use for your movie poster. So, uh, just check out dafont.com, d-a-f-o-n-t.com and uh, you can find all kinds of really interesting sort of gothic um, style fonts and we'll just try to pick one here really quick before our video uh, runs out let's go ahead and um, look for something here okay that one's pretty cool let's go ahead and use that one I'm gonna make this a little bit tighter here and I need to do I need to fill this up with white so we'll do white on that and you can see we have that and just to quickly throw a, an effect in there um, if you want you can just double click and just do like an outer glow do a drop shadow and outer glow and then bring that glow up just a little bit make it bigger and also I would make it white because I never like that default yellow that Photoshop has bring that up like that and then one last little thing that you can do uh, we just have a few seconds here is duplicate the font make a new layer um, right click um, actually I'm sorry come up into the menu merge the layers together and then do um, filter and then do blur motion blur and um, just do like a negative 90 with it completely up and down and you'll get that really interesting sort of blended blurred effect and there you have it there is your twilight movie poster that you can use as your desktop background thanks for watching this is your host Aaron from photoshopdemos.com